December 7th. The waters within us. Spirit, like water, is a source of life. We cannot live dry. I would agree. The more we are worn by experience, the more of an inlet we become and the more the waters of life wash out of us. This is why tears come more easily the longer we are here. Oh, I would agree so much. Perhaps wisdom is nothing more than the unsayable waters rising within us to swell around the eyes, the way that oceans soften land evidence of that inevitable tide that takes a lifetime to rise. We are so afraid of the waters within us that we often tense as soon as we see tears, asking what's wrong, when perhaps we need to ask those at sea, what do you see? Ew. Are you like that? Are you... Do you feel like the older you get, the more emotional you are? I think that I held my lack of emotionality as a badge of honor when I was younger, for sure. You know, it's hard to make me cry. It's hard to offend me. It was definitely... Yeah, I would say it was a big pride thing. Like, F you, you're not making me cry. You don't get to see that in me. And then I went through a phase where maybe I'm still kind of in that phase and coming out of it. But if I'm crying, it's because I'm trying not to stab you. <laughs> you think I'm weak. Oh, I'm just trying not to stab you. But it is, it's got to be an age thing. Because the older I get, the more I cry. Holy crap, I cry over everything. Good, bad, sad, funny. Sometimes I will laugh so hard that I just can't stop crying because it's so funny. But at the same time, I care much less if people see me cry or what they think if they see me cry. And almost that... I don't know. I've just really given up that badge of pride that I don't cry. Like, who cares? I guess you give up a lot of things as you get older. You just quit giving a rat's butt about what people think of me. I do, anyway. I think I care way more about what I think of you. Um, I care if you're kind. I care, especially, and I, I still am very quite judgy. If I see you be rude to a, a, a waiter or a waitress, uh, like a janitor, a service person, um, to an animal, that's pretty much a deal breaker as far as friendship goes. <laughs> like, I just, I've actually not ended friendships. They were there were new friendships that were really more acquaintances and we had gone out to lunch and one of the girls that we were sitting with was just an absolute jerk to the weight person. And I honestly don't even remember if it was a male or a female, um, but she was so yucky that that was it. It was the last time I ever spoke to her. They reached out to me to go to lunch again and I was like no thank you and that was it just I don't know it's a weird thing it's a weird thing <laughs> getting old is a weird thing all right you ready for a mindful moment sit quietly and recall the last time you cried breathe slowly and revisit the feeling of release Breathe into that release and look beneath what caused you to cry. Breathe deeply and feel for the unsayable wisdom rising to cover you. That's pretty cool. Yep. 
you know the man has been through a lot when he can just put this stuff down on paper mark nepo if you're out there and if you ever see this i honor your whole journey and i'm so glad that you had the courage to live it and the courage to share it with the world because it has been transformative for me. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this book. Wait, The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. Having the life you want by being present to the life you have. And I guess this book is quite old. It's probably at least 20 years old, but I just discovered it not too long ago. A friend sent it to me. Oh yes, first published in 2000. So a friend sent it to me and it's just been awesome. And the reason I'm reading it is because I started reading it in February and then we, you know, in March we got shut down and I kept hearing, uh, for lack of a better word, the voices in my head tell me that I should read this out loud on camera. And I was like, oh, hell no. And it just kept going and going and I just kept pushing it off. And then finally in August, it was like so loud that I decided I better just do it. So then I started doing it and posting it on Facebook. And then one of my dear sweet friends, I was having trouble, like somebody wanted to share it and it wasn't working because my account was private. So then I made another Facebook page and there's still kind of weirdness with that. But one of my friends suggested that maybe I should put it on YouTube. So here we are. Now you're all caught up. <laughs> and so every day I read the day's passage because it's a day book. I read the day's passage. And then I ramble on about craziness or <laughs> whatever it brings to my head. Um, I ramble on about whatever I'm in, whatever kind of thoughts are inspired to me by that day's reading. And uh, that's it. It's kind of fun. I've learned a lot. I definitely feel like my, my mindset has transformed a bit and um, I'm enjoying it. So I hope you are too. If you are, meet me here tomorrow. I'm coming back. In the meantime, have an exceptionally awesome, wonderful day. Thank you.